hello guys and girls and welcome back to this rant video this rant video is going to be something because uh a lot of people pointed out there's one there's one good detail about sword and shield that i haven't picked up on until other people actually start saying it so yeah pokemon let's go sword moon and then we got pokemon let's go shield sun or reverse it because we got the let's go games fused with pokemon sun and moon how is that why is that and why am i saying that well let's start off with this we already have a dark and normal like variant pokemon that it, it, that even team skull use and then we have a pokemon with a new added typing as well to it and then we already had that before in Alola. I know it's supposed to be new, but why? And then when we look at our rivals, we have Hop. Hop is basically how. Like he's very energetic and just just happy when they share the same god dang animations. And then we have B Day who is literally just Gladian. But who just has that look that you just there's there's some clips there, so uh, you let your mind wander on that one. And then we have Marnie, which is basically Lily. She does it. That's just Lily if she actually had a punk girl thing going for her. And then we have Leon. To me, I feel like he's just Kukui, but as an actual champion. So yeah. Why why there's things that are mixing into like one game? Like shouldn't these games feel like they shouldn't they feel new and fresh? Even Team Yell reminds me of Team Skull. They're not even here to actually do anything like to the extreme. They just kinda they're just annoying. They just supposed to be there just to annoy people. To basically get in your face and yell at you because they want you to lose and wants Marnie to win but it's still creepy though I'm pretty sure she didn't ask for all of that I don't even get why they follow her in the first place so that is something to actually rant about and also we also got a road to a lottery going on here and but and also jobs why do we have a low to a lottery a lottery why, 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 why is this in this game? Why is this a feature that they're bringing back when they could have brought back the national decks? Well, the transferring of all Pokemon. They don't have to bring back the actual natural decks and actually give um, all information for all the new and old existing Pokemon. But the transferring of all Pokemon for little things that it doesn't make much sense the new pokemon are fine loving the 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 glorian zigzag goon line i have no words for wheezing it just looks so just so weird and then there's no hate at all for this one this one is love love forever I love the little hamster there's nothing really bad to say about any of their designs of the new Pokemon. It's just that the story is going to shift into a Sun and Moon one. And for a person who actually plays Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon for a lot of times as I repeat the games because I get bored. The storyline kind of does drag on and I mean it drags on. Let's just hope these games hold up to their fullest, and I mean foolish potential, because uh, if not, Game Freak has, I, I don't have no hope in Game Freak, like, at all, nor the Pokemon's company decision. If y'all feel different, that's on y'all, because this is the way I feel, and I feel alone, like, the Pokemon might not might not last that long 
just hopefully they will actually do something and actually make these games worth their price instead of cutting corners. Just imagine if they never cut any features from the beginning all the way to now. You would not think, you would think these games would be extremely lackluster because the game would have, a, if their game, they didn't get rid of any of the features, then the Pokemon games now would have way more mini games. They would have way more of a long adventure and story, way more Pokemon, way more love and time put into them. They would have a lot more Pokemon with regional forms, a lot more attack and, you know, well, I wouldn't say the attack animations would be better because this is Game Freak. They don't, they don't do well in the, that area. But, um, yeah, these games would have actually been the best in the world if they actually put in some more work into it. Hey, I would even accept these games if only, and I mean only, if the Galar Pokemons can Dynamax. Because, uh, and Gigantamax. Because, uh, I still would like a game to have Mega Evolution, Z Moves, and Primal Reversions. And a lot more crazy things in them. Because I want to see what happens if you fight a Dynamax Pokemon with a Pokemon with a Z Move and a Mega Evolution Pokemon all on the field. I want to see, like, will you do a lot of damage to that Pokemon or will that damage will just subside and not do nothing? Like, they literally just missed the biggest opportunity ever. For their first home console game. And you know what? The biggest thing that they mess up on. Is not hiring more people. If you are limited in your time. You don't have time to. Get everything together. What you do is. Hire more people. If your studio is small. You know. You're a Pokemon. Why not buy a new studio? You know. And um. Say, I don't know, make sure the studio is big enough to hold a lot of employees. Managing, like, all those employees. And it wouldn't be that hard if you just have communication. So, if you kind of, if they expanded on, like, employees, these games would have been better. But, nope. They want to cut corners, make their games lackluster because they think Pokemon fans will buy anything. But they will also think that... Since we will buy anything, we'll accept anything. And I gotta say, those who just accept anything is not helping anything at all. Do you think Game Freak is your friend? Well, if they was actually the, if they was actually really friends with the entire like community, not just y'all, not just half, literally friends with the community, you would think they would bring back the national decks. If they wouldn't bring that back, what makes them think that you, they're your friends while you're protecting them? You shouldn't never protect the company. They only see you as dollar signs. Only protect those who actually knows you and who are actually there for you, who are actually your friends. Because uh, protecting a company is not a good look. So... Never protect Game Freak. Never protect any company at all. And also. Also. The only thing that you should protect. Is this little guy right here. Oh girl. I haven't decided what gender yet. But protect this one. And then love it forever. And then replace Saba with it. And I shall see you all next time.